Mr. President, I greet you. As Pumulo Zulu of Lundazi, UPND, Die Hard member, IPS of the district, I know that the message I'm going to give you, some will take it lightly, some people will take it, this message wrongly, but it's the transformation agenda which is anchored in our UPND manifesto. I'm ready to be disciplined within this party structure if the constitution of UPND is properly handled. This is the truth which is being obtained on the grassroots level. Mr. President, nine months in government, we were ushered in by the people of Zambia that life should come to change. But we realize, realize in ourselves that nothing is changing, Mr. President. One, the cost of living is very high for a poor Zambian. We promised a number of things during campaigns as UPND. We went flat out to campaign to give honey the Zambian people. But the dream is not coming to true. What have we achieved in nine months? Cardalism. Yes, people can point out that cardalism we have achieved and there is smooth running of governance system because there is no cardalism. Mr. President, a significant challenge when we are in positions most of Zambians is job creation, food on the table, cheaper transport, fertilizer price, fuel prices. If we come to the hunger situation, hunger is looming 2022-2023. We had a poor rain pattern for 2021-2022 farming season. 10,000 bags of fertilizers were not yet given to farmers up to date in Lundas district by Neria Investment Company. In case you don't know, the farm produce of 2021-2022 farming season will be poor in Lundas district, even some parts of the country. Mr. President, coming to the health sector, Mangwala Muribe Mchipatara, there is no medicine. There is no medicine. People are looking to have medicine in hospitals. Especially that health services must be closer to the doorsteps of the people. I recall when you came to Rundazi, the old Rundazi hospital was supposed to be operationalized the moment we formed government. But nothing is happening there. People are traveling long distances to Chinduta, seeking for medication, but there is no medicine in Chinduta. Even some other parts of the country, there is no medicine, Mr. President. What are we doing for the poor Zambian? People cannot manage to find medicine in these hospitals. What are we doing? What is the transformation agenda we have as UPND? A number of UPND members they have gone into hide. They are not expressing themselves because they, they are disappointed in case they don't know you. They, you don't know. The party is dying. Mr. President, Lundas Chipata Road, Lundas Bridge, Lundas Chama Road, it's not a talk of the thing. Mr. President, Lord Shedding, we have hiked electricity tariffs, electricity connections, and what did we promise? Cheaper tariffs, cheaper electricity connections. But this is not a dream, a dream come true. There is too much load shedding. Businesses is going down. We need to look onto that. Mr. President, we removed the subsidy to a poor marginal Zambians. Rumor has it that there is tax holiday in these big mining industries in the copper belt. How do you give 
tax holiday to mining industries. The foreign mining industries. Meaning, by 2026, we lose a lot of billion dollars going outside the country without thinking for a poor Zambian to give them subsidy. What are their benefits? They voted for UPND, not giving them tax. What are the benefits for the Zambians? Tizawa Pasachano and from Zambia, Puti Wakondwere. Puti each in the chin, she may not pass as UPND. Things are not well on the ground. People are suffering. We have to tell you the truth. And we love UPND. I love UPND. I cherish UPND. There are so many questions, needs an answer. Are we managing to fight corruption or we have staged a fight against the courts of law? We have seen some areas where uh, uh, anti-corruption commission carries a bunch of journalists just to showcase that they have arrested or investigated someone at the end of the day. It's just a mere story. They lose that case in the course of law. Let's stop fighting corruption and concentrate on working if we have failed in that area. What are we doing? We need to provide solutions. There are no solutions to the problems, the challenges the Zambian people are facing. We told most of the Zambian to form cooperatives. Thousands of cooperatives have been formed nearly every day and promised them heaven on earth that they will be empowered. This is first quarter which has just ended. No empowerment is given to those cooperatives. They will rise against us as UPND. They will rise against us. We will be in motion in answering to those problems. Because those people, we told them that, that we will give them empowerment, but there is no empowerment. Maybe we are waiting for IMF bailout. out. Is that a solution? Maziko Amene Anapasuako IMF before. They have been that. January 30,000 teachers will be recruited. I don't know when now. 11,000 nurses. I don't know when we cannot win. Why? Because there is nothing that we can point out in nine months in government. And already we are remaining with July, uh, 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 June, July, August, October, we have a new budget for 2023. What have we done with the budget of 2022? We we'll need to look in all those items how we can develop this country. Trump was given only five years mandate, one term mandate. This will happen to us. I will give you a scenario example for President Lazarus Chakwera in Malawi. Three months he was advised, he was advised, Vintu Siviri Bueno Excellence Kuno Kumalawi, Vantuezo Dandaula Kudandaula. He didn't listen. Now people have raised against Chakwera in Malawi because of his bio, bio, biographic leadership. Leadership is not all about bio, biography and technology, but it's to show political will to develop and bring food on the table. We can give free education, and that free education, what surplus is that free education? Because if it is real free education, you find that in a school, they were enrolling maybe 800 or maybe 1,000 pupils. You give them a grant of 60,000, of which you calculate 200, uh, 1,000 times 200. That is almost 200,000 money in the banks. Then we give them less. They are not speaking those civil servants, head teachers who are in offices. But that's the fact. That free education is not managing the school resources in those schools. Mr. President, this is the truth. This is, is what is on the ground. People are crying. For, for me, I'm not a butilika. I always, when things go wrong, I need to speak when, th when people cry. I need to tell people, if we fail, we need to tell where we have failed. We are here for the people of Zambia. We campaigned uh, people to give us mandate that we should provide food on the table. We should provide an atmosphere for the people of Zambia. I might, I, I might dwell so much or to tell you a lot, but you should know that the grassroots, Mr. President, 
you go to Lusaka, uh, the street of Lusaka, business is not going there. Pop build. Any part of this country, everyone is complaining. Take this information as the true if, uh, reflection. In conclusion, I'm not betraying this political party. I'm not sponsored by anyone. No one has given me money over this. But I want to tell the truth because for the sacrifice I made for UPND and for the sacrifice of majority UPND members who supported, they are not seeing the fruits that they supported for the party.